Hi, Craig here from the Southern Oregon Veterinary Specialty Center in Medford, and I'm here with Dr. Adam Reese. We wanted to explain a little bit about what we are seeing here with the burn victim cats that are coming in from the recent fires. Hey, Dr. Reese, thank hey, you. Hey, Craig, no problem. So Thanks for having you, me. Yeah, can you just tell us a little bit about what we would expect to see in a typical burn victim or what we're dealing with these days? Well, uh, first of all, obviously, if they're walking around in an area where there's uh, extreme heat, they're going to get burns on their pads, their feet, and then especially uh, their facial areas, their whiskers. Uh, their ears are very susceptible as well as their eyes and mucous membranes. The big deal especially with cats is that if they have burns inside their oral cavity uh, then they're going to be reluctant to eat. If they're in a lot of pain from all the burns on their paw pads, again reluctant to move to use the restroom to be able to get to food and water. And then finally uh, in their airways there's certainly the potential for damage as they're inhaling hot gases from offing from the fires and can result in damage to the respiratory tract. Um, ultimately, you know, the big thing is obviously managing pain, keeping these guys hydrated, and clear of secondary infections from all the wounds um, that are created by the heat. Will you see all of the problems immediately or do some of these things surface days later? Some of them can be delayed by several hours to days for sure, um, especially carbon monoxide poisoning. Sometimes there's a, up to a 24-hour delay in neurologic symptoms that can arise. Um, uh, a lot of the damage to you know mucous membranes and other areas also can take some time to uh, to manifest themselves. So. so these kitties look like they are pretty serious. I assume if an owner believes their cat's been involved in a fire or heat related incident, they should just call the practice and get triaged and understand if they should come in or not? Absolutely. I think the biggest uh, determining factor for me on coming in are going to be is the animal eating and drinking or able to eat and drink and are they having any respiratory difficulties. However, as you can see, this cat's got significant injuries on all four paws, ears, and in the facial area, as well as very likely the oral cavity. Uh, this cat's gonna need some supportive care for sure. So if your cat looks anything like this, uh, I'd highly recommend they come in. And plan for him to be here for a few days. At least a few days, sometimes longer. Okay, all right. Unfortunately. Thank you, Dr. Yeah, no problem. Everybody stay safe it. out there. So uh, as you heard, it uh, could be a pretty significant event, so definitely let us know if you think your cat's been involved. Uh, if you are missing one of your kitties, you can check out our uh, Facebook page at Southern Oregon Veterinary Specialty Center where we are keeping uh, up-to-date photos of patients that we are receiving from Good Samaritans that don't have owners, and we will continue to keep that updated. Thanks for your support, everybody. We really appreciate it, and as Dr. Reese said, please stay safe. Thanks a lot.